Found the model number. Right there in the door. Just like my Chevy. Oh, hold on there, cowboy. I just realized that rent trap can fall out real easy when you're working on them like this. Luckily it hadn't and got damaged. They'll get damaged. I got vented up before. I had to straighten it back out. Okay. Let's hit that. That big old fat hose, well it's good for big stuff, but it's fights you every step of the way. But the nice, you know, smaller one that was really long, got junk in it. And it's going to be hard to clean out, it's got tile adhesive in it. But, uh, it, was in the, it got, I think it got back in the wet and then dried in there. You beat around on it and you can hear it kind of breaking up. But uh, I don't, I haven't. I haven't tried to clean it yet. I might try to run. I used to. That was pretty long. I don't know if I can make it go through there. But I used to. My other, my older one with a shorter hose. I could run a broomstick through it and knock out pretty much everything. Okay. So now we've got our. We've got our. Uh, I never did wash my mouth out. We've got our. Uh, everything's working except for I'm wondering about the phone now. So I better check it. I'll do that before I forget again. Uh, get this thing around to the front. What am I hung on? My cable hung on my belt. On my long belt. Okay. Yeah, if the battery's gone down or the app quit working, I wouldn't know it by looking at that. You just know that it's got a Bluetooth signal is all I know by looking over at that blue blinking light. Mic is on, connected. Okay, cool. That's good. I didn't, you know, this is the first video series I've used this on. Well, I just got the thing. I didn't even get it for this. I just realized, hey, I could use it for that. As long as you're not going out, you know, far away. The Wi-Fi, you can go as far as the Wi-Fi will reach. Well, I got something open. Two things. 
And one of the reasons it does that is the battery, I said that already, the battery's swollen, and so just pressure on it anywhere can make stuff open up. You don't even have to touch the front screen, which I may have touched the front screen. But that stuff that opened up, well, I think that might have been YouTube that opened up. That is on the front screen. But there was something else that's not on the front screen that opened up. And sometimes, a lot of times it'll open up the Google Voice search. And I don't ever say, hey, Google, or whatever. And actually, I don't know if that works on mine. I may have turned it off so it wouldn't do that. But, uh, okay, Google, or whatever. Now, yeah, that, now watch it work, because I got the mics on. Uh, <laughs> play me some tunes. <laughs> if it starts playing music, I'll know, right? I don't think it can do that. Uh, I really do. I like that for... Uh, my mom, I got my mom a new phone. Uh, I hate the way it's an LG, and I hate the way their their uh, goof Android is laid out. But uh, okay, I just noticed that these tabs for the bottom, no, the top. Oh, that's the top. They're really bent. I'm gonna leave them alone. Maybe it's working good on the top. It's the bottom that's hard to get lined up. And I thought, well, maybe that's why it's so hard to get lined up. Okay, I'm going to step right in the kitchen and uh, wash my face, and then I'll come back and get a drink. I don't even want to drink anything right now. With my, It's still in my mouth. I bet you can hear all that. <clears throat> well, couldn't help it. <coughs> okay. It still look like it's working. Yep. So you can go through that door. I've got a mirror. i got mirrors around here. I can see to wipe my face here. Dry my face. Okay. Yeah, it styles my hair when I when I take an air bath. It's all free free hairstyle. Uh, I've been debating for most of the. Uh, I used to always uh, trim the sides, you know, not shave them, but just as short as my, I got one of those hair clippers can do all the way around the back. <clears throat> but I'm real bad about getting to doing it. I do it, been doing it myself since about 1992. <coughs> <coughs> and so I was debating about letting it grow out and it's some of it in the back will go in the ponytail now but uh, it looks horrible everywhere and it drives me nuts hanging on my ears and everything I have to constantly wet it down to keep it from puffing out looking like a clown here uh, so uh, I'm really debating again about just Doing it, going back to the West, used to been doing it all these or all these years. But the last ten years, I've really had a hard time keeping keeping it up. <clears throat> I didn't get a drink yet. Hmm. Uh, 
I took a big old drink and then I, rem and I could feel all that stuff on my mouth. I was like, crap, I should spit that out first. I didn't even think to wash my mouth out while I was in there. I did my face. I was in the kitchen. But, uh, uh, so I spit it out the back door. But I'd already swallowed a bunch of it. I would like to have been I don't think it would have necessarily stopped it because, you know, that thing is flipping it up in circles. And, uh, of course, one way it was going down, but then it'd be hitting this and bouncing back up. It's really, really lightweight stuff. Uh, I noticed how easily it vacuumed up. And uh, I think those damp, those damp paper towels I've got left over here, I'll use them to wipe this down with. <clears throat> If it seems too damp, then I'll hit it with, you know, I should probably just hit it with denatured alcohol. That lot will take forever to dry. I'll do the denatured alcohol. And, uh, okay, now what? Well, I was going to get those pieces out and just kind of lay them out. I'm going to move this, uh, I'll move the vacuum next time I go down that way. That's what I'll do. Okay. Oh, it's getting close to, it's almost dark. I just want to just look out the back door. So, uh, but, uh, good news is that I am down, oh, I wanted to go blow that, that handle, the dust out of this handle so that I don't, I do it while I'm thinking about it and then I'll clean it with denatured alcohol here in a little bit. And, uh, you know, I can leave the vacuum there if I move the holes out of my way. I think I'll have to turn it that way. Maybe it'll be out of my way. There we go. Yeah, it's just I couldn't get by the hose, but that that's fixed. I don't think I'm going to use it again, but my back's hurting, so I don't want to move it right now. Especially cause, because I'll have to pick it up and carry it. Yeah, I wanted to get get that cleaned up so that when I get ready to put glue in it, it'll uh, work. I've got my gloves up there already. You need your alcohol, which I think actually goes through those gloves, but it's better to have something than nothing, I think. So, uh, I don't want to set it somewhere where it's going to turn over. The lid, I'll just put it back over here where I had it. Finally took it off so I wouldn't break it <laughs> okay get this stuff out one more time just to get it out of the way get my new set out i think i'll put these papers that are other papers old receipt or something in with the with the uh in that new manual that i got what else? Okay, I don't want the manual out anymore. Where is that? No, oh, there it is. The instructions for that. This is not folded very good. I don't really like that. Don't fiddle with that stuff now. Go on. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I'm going to save that envelope, too. Okay, now... Put it in the bottom of the box, I guess. Yeah, just like that. And uh, I was thinking about putting it in here, but I'd have to fold it another fold, and I don't think I want to do that. As long as the box don't get wet, it'll all be okay. Oh, that goes over here. More parts. Okay, now. Get these out again, but this time for real. For reals. This time. <clears throat> See if I can have another drink of water. Yeah, I've got my clamp. Get it cleaned up with some alcohol here in a minute. And, uh. So this part here. We'll go up here, and yeah, I'll, I guess I'll put the, uh, 
Yeah, I'll put this one on second and cut off the uh, excess. And of course, I'll save it. It's brand new. Okay, yeah. Goes like that. I guess you can eyeball that. It's not... Yeah. Just make sure. Yeah, okay. The bottom is this one. Okay, make sure you know the top from the bottom or you'd be sorry. Okay, yeah, and then I'll put my, my strap clamp on there and tighten it down and let it sit there all night. Cool. Okay. That's all still sharp, just like it was. Okay. The Aki Hall, I'll put that in there for the glue in there for now. Well, I think these damp paper towels are going to help. I've already got more to that dust. It's probably in my shirt still, even though I blew it off as good as I could. I can feel that stuff all over my hands again. And I don't want to put those rubbery gloves on with that stuff on my hands, so here we go. Now, oh, I'm, I was really disappointed last night when I felt bad all night and never got to work. And then I thought I completely screwed up when I shopped. I didn't feel good, but and so I shopped without realizing how long I was. I, I wanted, I'd been needing to order some stuff, you know, for the house for several days, and I didn't. I thought if I don't do this, I'm going to run out of this stuff, you know, shaving cream and stuff. Actually, I wasn't going to run out of shaving cream. I got a whole can that lasted about a week. Uh, anyway, I don't remember the other stuff I've been needing to get uh, <clears throat> along with that, and. Uh, so, uh, I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't realize how long I was doing it until it got to be about, I think it was four in the morning. I was saying before, I got up at nine or ten last night, and I ate, it cooked me a couple hours to eat breakfast and stuff. Got on the computer, did the shopping, and then it was about four, say around four in the morning, when I, real, I got done and realized, oh crap. I gotta go out there right now or I ain't gonna get to do this at all, you know. And uh, I had wanted to get it all done. I hope to get it all done in one day. And uh, I really was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to get very much done today. But it's been going well. And, uh, well, way better than I, I normally go. <laughs> My projects normally go. Speed-wise, I mean. Uh, now, if that thing tilts up on me or anything, I'll have that stuff on the floor. I guess I should shut it so that it doesn't evaporate. I don't need to clean anything, but just where this is going. So, Yeah, I'll go around it, and then I'll flip it over to the other side and go around it again. How does that look? Yeah, it's all right. And that spot where I'm going to put something, I may put just put the glue in there. <sighs> it's got paper in there. Well, I can hit it with the vacuum. I didn't put it away yet. Okay. That doesn't really need that, but... Hey. Okay. That stuff actually smells kind of good, that denatured alcohol. But it's poison, and I don't mean that as a joke. It actually, they put poison in it so people won't drink it. Stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. To p make a poison just for consumers to buy, just to make sure they don't drink it. Back in the Prohibition days, people were still drinking moonshine and and I think they they uh, smuggled in, you know, fine drink from, uh, you know, overseas, England probably. I saw a show about it a few years ago. There we go. That's all cleaned up. Yeah, that needed to be cleaned up so that the... Actually, I don't want the glue to stick to that. But I wanted to clean all that up around the outside. What I think I may do is put... a some thin plastic over that put some grease on here maybe that that high temp grease so that the glue won't stick to it and then i'll just slide it on there and i think that's how i did it last time that's how i plan on doing it i hope now i don't think denatured alcohol spontaneously combusts so i think that's okay i threw it in the trash evaporates quick <laughs> Yeah, so I'll just glue it all up, and it sets just like this till tomorrow. 
and then I'll have to finish up putting it together. But that's pretty good. Make sure there's no paper towel on there. Yep, there was something. All that cleaning and grinding and everything would be for naught if it was all covered in paper towel. It was all stuck to it when I was wiping it down. Okay. <coughs> Now, so, yeah, put that back. Now, I may need that to clean my hands here in a minute. Where's my glue? Here's my glue. I guess I just need to go around the whole thing. I've got some scissors over here. Have my strap ready. Well, I've got it ready. Okay. Might be good to have it really ready. I might end up fiddling with it, trying to get it pulled out and the right size and all that. I think I'll take these off so I don't make a hole in them with that thing. Messing with it. Put them back on for the glue and that's all I'm wearing them for this time. That's a pretty new pair. I still can't get over how many Pairs of gloves I use today. I've never don't I think I've ever used that many pair. Okay, yeah. Here we go. You gotta kinda of figure out how to do this. Again, when you hadn't used it in year several years. A couple of years. There we go. A little more than that, I think, because it's gonna be a extra thickness. There we go. Now, I thought about leaving it there, but I don't want to get glue all over it. It's already got enough glue on it. I've used it to glue up all kinds of things, mostly wood, you know. Well, whoop. I don't know that I've ever used it for anything but wood, but me. But, uh, I've only ever had the one. And I kind of think, some of my coolest tools, I don't know how she, mom don't know anything about tools, but... And sometimes I would tell her exactly what I would want. Ever since I was a kid, you know, she got me my first drill, my J.C. Penny circular saw that I still used to cut metal with. The bushings are wore out, and I can't figure out how to get it apart. I might be able to now because I know more about that kind of stuff, but I haven't tried in years. Uh, you have to keep on just hitting. I just keep on hitting it with the WD-40. Well, I did use WD-40. Now I kind of have to use Rust Buster to get it to keep going. But the last time I was using it, I was cutting. Well, I was cutting. This, I don't know if you can see this, that uh, concrete board, I, that was what was left over when we did the bathroom, and cutting that concrete board with it, and all that dust would get in it, you know, and uh, let's, let's start around here, I guess, anyway, I kept having to, had to keep it right there and keep spraying and spraying and spraying, that's kind of thin, it's stringy though. I figured it'd be like that. It's kind of like 3M yellow for gasket maker. I figured it'd be something like that. Because when I looked at it and I smelled it, I got a whiff of it earlier. I want to make sure I got enough on there. But I want to make sure I make it all the way around. So I'm going to go around once and if I think I need more, I'll go around again. <laughs> 